All right, welcome everybody to the Employee Exit Plan Mentorship Program, y'all. I'm excited today because we have something special that's going on. I have a very, very, very special guest, a very successful gentleman, uh, a person that I've watched literally help thousands of people. And um, he's going to be coming here talking about something special today, and that is about credit and being able to fix your credit, repair your credit, grow your credit, enhance your credit, leverage your credit, um, use your credit to you know make money. Right? He's going to be teaching you a bunch of different things, and I'm excited for many reasons. So I want to share some things before I actually bring him on, um, because I want you guys to understand why this call came into place. Okay? I want to share a personal story with myself, and I want to share share with you why this came into place. All right. Um, first, I want to share why I came into play. So um, for those of you who don't know, maybe you are a guest, maybe you're on here for the first time. My name is Jay Dinkins, and um, I actually have a mentorship program where I not only teach people how to start a short-term rental business uh, or Airbnb, um, but also how to just build passive income. And a lot of people join my program because they have a goal or, they, or a desire to go get their first Airbnb or short-term rental unit. Now, there are some people that they come in, their credit is together, they have funds, they have access to the money, and they can actually go ahead and get started right away. But in many cases, there's people who they have a desire, they know what they want to do, and they feel like this is something that they can do. The only problem is they either have credit that's not in position to actually go get approved for something right now, or they don't have access to the funds. Now, I've had this program for two and a half years. And for the last two and a half years, that has been a consistent obstacle. Now, for me, when I see things that my people need, people in my community, when I see things and I know that there's a need, I always say, how can I find a solution to that issue? Okay. So for the last, I would say a year and a half, almost two years, I've been trying to find the right person, the right person with the right program who who has who has proven results that would also be willing to partner with me so I can bring some sort of credit aspect to my program. And the reason I wanted to do that was I knew that if I could bring somebody who was qualified in enhancing or repairing credit, I would put more people in position to be out and to be able to go out and get their Airbnbs much faster. If that make if that makes sense, if that makes sense, just drop a one in the chat. Let me know if y'all follow me so far. If what I'm saying makes sense to you, drop a one in the chat. So for the last year and a half, two years, I've just been searching for the right people for the right program. Now, Dion is a very close friend of mine. Okay. We met um, being a part of a mastermind group together and he's added a lot of value to my life. I already knew he had a program. I already knew he was very successful and I already knew that I could trust him. And I already knew that he had the results. The challenge was he had no true reason to give, to give my people access to his software outside of just wanting to help. So for me, I'm just not the person that I just want to hand out, right? I'm not the person like, hey, could you just please? Like, I knew his software would help, but he had no reason to do it, right? He, 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 he has his own program. He has his own thing going on, and he's doing very well. He has no need to do this. So for a year and a half, I've been trying to figure it out. We've been trying to work it out. And finally, finally, um, about a month and a half, two months ago, we figured out the solution. And we figured out a way where... He could give my community access to this software so you guys could go ahead and use the credit repair, like use the credit software yourself for your own purposes to fix your own personal credit. Or you could also use it to start your own credit repair services if you choose to. And when he did it, I thought that he was just going to give me access to the software. You guys could use it. He didn't just do that, y'all. He literally gave me access to the entire program, meaning you get access to the software. You get access to the Facebook group. You get access to the calls, three calls every single week. You get access to the whole system. Like, I thought he was going to come in and do a call for me. So, y'all, this, like, to me, this is this is the thing that we have needed. Um, many of you, whether you want to start an Airbnb business or not, we we know the, the value of enhancing our credit. Like, how many of you, how many of you 
drop a yes in the chat if you either need your credit repaired or you want to build your credit to a 700 plus credit score. Matter of fact, drop credit in the chat. Gra drop credit in the chat. That's you. If you either need to repair your credit, fix some things in your credit, or you're looking to push your credit over 700, somebody drop credit in the chat. Let's go. So it's only a few of us, huh? Everybody else. So everybody else. Everybody else. Your credit is good. Your everybody else. Your credit. Your credit is. Your credit is excellent. You a one. All right. All right. Cool. Now, how many of you? I, by, by show of hands. By, by show of hands. Like y'all could really show me your hands. Some of y'all probably be like, yeah, this me. <laughs> Do me a favor, y'all. Drop. Let, I'm, let me. I'm gonna tell you what to drop in a second. Do me a favor. If if you are open to, I'm just I'm just curious to know if you are open to using a software where the only thing you have to do is get good at using the software. If you're open to using a software to help a few people a month repair their credit and bring in an extra one to three thousand dollars a month, if you're open to that, drop some money bags in the chat or drop the word money or drop the dollar sign. Just drop something that represents money in the chat. Like if you're open to that. I want to make sure I'm talking to the right people. I want to make sure I'm talking to the right people. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, this software, when y'all see it, it's in y'all. This has, this has, I this has blew my mind. And it blew my mind for a few reasons, right? And I feel like I'm talking to, and if you on, if you on, let me make sure he ain't on. If you ain't, if you Dion, if you on, raise your hand so I know that you on. Y'all. Here's why. Blew, here's the reason why this blew my mind. Number one, it wasn't a human. For me personally, y'all, I've paid several times people a thousand, five hundred, fifteen hundred dollars to repair my credit, and it took a lot of time, and I got absolutely no results. Any of you, any of you, like you had the same experience? Like you paid somebody hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars? to actually get your credit repaired, get your credit fixed, get some things removed, and you got no results. Like this has been a problem for me for years. Same thing on my wife. We pay people and every single time they say the same thing. They say, oh, this is easy. We're going to get this off quick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's easy. We're going to get this off. We pay them, no results every single time. So here's what I loved about this. Number one, it was a software and it wasn't people. Because I, I just started to feel like I can't rely on people to fix my credit because I'm like, Every time you tell me that you can do this, but once I pay, I never get those results. And then you telling me four months later, five months later, 10 months later, oh, it's a process. I get it. But you told me that you was going to do this fast. So what I loved about this, this, this software was it's a, it, it's a software. It's a computer. I'm not relying on a person. Above and beyond that, it's artificial intelligence. Y'all understand how big artificial intelligence is going right now. So now I got a artificial intelligent software that I could do. Here's the next, here's the next thing on my own. I don't have to pay somebody thousands of dollars hoping that they fi could fix my credit. All I have to do is get access to the software, plug my information in, upload my report, my credit report, upload my ID, press some buttons and it goes to work for me. And it goes to work for me. So when I start to when I when I start to see this, I said, "Oh, this is this is this is this is this is it. This is what I need. This is what I need. I'm not trusting a person with my community, saying that they're gonna repair or fix or do whatever to credit. Now I have a software that's gonna go to work, and now they can they can actually put this in their own hands. And last but not least, y'all, when I saw that there was an opportunity, regardless of whether I wanted to do it or not." When I saw that there was an opportunity that I could use the same exact software and either help some friends and family members fix their credit because it was just available, I have the software, or I could use it to make a few extra dollars per month. I said, yeah. I said, I said, I said, I said, listen, Dion, if we could find a way, if we could find a way so I could get my, my community access to this software, like I would, I would, I would like, y'all, long story short, we we figured it out. We figured it out. So I think, I think, hey, Dion, raise your hand if you, actually, let me make sure. I, I could probably check. I'll probably find you. Oh, there you go. Let me, first of all, let me, let me do this. 
Hey, I was just sitting here waiting, you know. I mean, it's all good, though. <laughs> hey, hey, man. I, I, <laughs> hello. 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 <laughs> there, there he goes. Um, so what, what I want to do is um, I, I want to actually I, I want to formally introduce you. And then I'm going to I'm going to literally give you host. So if you got to share your screen and do whatever you got to do, you can do it. Okay. Um, but let me let me let me introduce you. Let me let me just sit there for a second. Let me just let me let me formally introduce you. So. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time. Drop some fire emojis in the chat right now. Before we even like, like he is, he, he is in the building. I need you to drop some fire emojis, drop some money bags, drop some dollar signs, drop something in the chat because we about to go crazy. We about to go, we about, listen, we are about to go crazy y'all. Yeah. I want you to understand what is happening right now. I want you to understand the power of what's happening right now. Listen, I'm going to bring up my brother Dion and let me, let me share something with you guys. I got to share the story real quick. Y'all I'm gonna make this quick and easy. I mean, hello. I was at this conference. I was at this conference and I'm at lunch and I see a young lady. She's wearing a sweater and it says phenomenal power on it. I say, excuse me, may I ask you, what does that mean? And she said, oh, this is my husband's shirt. I say, do you mind if I get his Instagram? She gives me his Instagram. I go and I sit back into the conference room. Y'all, this is no exaggeration. I sit in the conference room. This is a passive income conference, I believe. It's, it's, it's a lot of entrepreneurs there. And I'm sitting there and I'm literally scrolling on my phone. I cannot make this up. I'm literally like this. Somebody, people was talking on stage and I'm, I'm scrolling through this gentleman's profile. I'm like, oh, shoot, dude, it's cold. And I'm just scrolling, looking at all his stuff. I'm like, oh, I got to meet him. And as, as I'm doing this, I hear the person talking on the stage. And he goes, I want to bring up this gentleman. And he started introducing him. He said he made over $100,000 in the last month and whatever, whatever. Mr. Phenomenal, Dion, Mr. Phenomenal Power. I look up and I go, hold on. Oh, shoot. And they literally welcomed him to the stage. At this time, he was making, I think, like $100,000 a month. Seems so small now. <laughs> My man talks spicy. But he was making like $100,000 a month at the time that this happened. And I knew that I had to be around a person like that. Like, I knew the I knew the importance of me getting around the right people. I knew the importance of me being in rooms where the right people were in so I can get around the fire. Because if I got around the fire, I was going to catch fire. Drop some fire emojis for that. Oh, spice. So Come when on. I got around Dion, literally, he started, he started pouring into me. Automatically started pouring into me. And I started implementing things. The reason why some of you are here today is because of some of the information that he's given me that allowed me to reach you. Let's go. I have literally watched this gentleman on multiple occasions do over a million dollars in a day. More important than that, I've watched them help people that had no experience in their respective industries as far as coaching, teaching, mentorship. I've literally watched him help people go from literally making not a dollar to making a hundred thousand dollars in a day. I've literally watched people go through his program and use the very software that he's going to give to you. I literally watched people use that and get all kinds of things deleted, take their score, they take their score up over 200 points. I've, I've just never seen anything like this. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, because I could probably talk about him for, for a very long time, but I'm going to introduce my brother, my mentor, um, Mr. Phenomenal Power, Dion. I'm going to bring you up to the stage. I'm going to give you host, my brother. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a back out and I'm gonna go ahead and take my notes. Hey, listen, um, I don't know. You know, when you get an introduction like that, that's kind of, it's like, dang, do I, do I stay here and teach or do I just leave? I don't know. Cause, <laughs> but no, I appreciate you, bro. Um, man, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure to be connected with you. Um, it's always an honor to be in great company. Uh, somebody put in the chat, great company. Um, Everybody who is here, I know you guys look at, you know, JD, uh, some of y'all probably look at him like a friend and majority of you guys look at him like a, a mentor. And some of y'all got him as a friend and a mentor. So he's a friend tour. Uh, you know, he's the same to me. You know, I, I look at him as like a friend, you know what I mean? And, and he's he's more than a friend. He's a brother. You know what I mean? So uh, he's he, he's both to me. He's a brother and a friend to me. And I, and I really honor um, and I respect the relationship that we have. I've never met somebody as as genuinely honorable as he is. And, and, and on top of that, somebody who's appreciative. I, I think that what we all be looking for, whether it be in, you know, 
if we work in a job right now or if we are entrepreneur or even if we're in a relationship, we always want to feel appreciated, right? Somebody put appreciated in the chat. And when you know, like when you when you can know that wherever you're going and what you're doing, you appreciate it, it makes you feel better and, and you can perform at a higher level. Let me let me bring let me turn my lights up for a second. Hold on, y'all. Because I need to make sure y'all can see me. All right, cool. Let me, I just had to turn the lights up a little bit. Because it's about to get spicy in here, right? So we all want to feel appreciated. And um, JD always finds a way to let me know he appreciates and he values the relationship um that we have. And so, you know, for me, that's important. Let me tell you something else. Um, it's it's another characteristic that I love about people outside of somebody who can show that they appreciate you. And for me, that's that's honor and integrity. I'm going to give y'all a real life story. Um, I accidentally sent JD. <laughs> the other day, uh, earlier last week, I accidentally sent JD $5,100. That was supposed to go to somebody else. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's, 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 it's different. You send somebody else $5,100, they may not never pick up the phone ever again. Um, but I end up sending JD $5,100 that I meant to send to somebody else. And I didn't even, it didn't even dawn on me until the person who I meant to send it to, um, they kept saying, uh, cause him and that person, they names and all the stuff was like right next door to each other. And I didn't, I didn't realize I had sent it to the wrong person, but that original person kept saying, bro, I didn't get the money. So y'all know me y'all look, I'm from the hood. I'm like, bro, you lying, you capping. I sent you the money. Stop playing with me. I'm listen. I'm not going to send you this money unless you screenshot me your account. This man screenshot me his account and said, bro, I didn't get the money. I said, oh, you didn't get the money. <laughs> so I went back and I double checked and I looked and I had to apologize to him because I realized I said, damn, I said that to JD. And so here's the beautiful thing about the person that y'all are allowing to lead y'all. Um, JD, um, I was able to call him and he sent me that money first thing in the morning. He said, bro, I'm going to send it to you first thing in the morning. He's like, I go right to the bank. I make sure I get the handle. And before I could even wake up, that money was back in my account. So it's it's very important to watch who you guys do business with because that is one of the most important things in business. It's not necessarily about the product and or the service that you're going to provide people. It's about the people that you decide to get in bed with and do biz. I've seen people come into entrepreneurship and I've seen them exit sooner than they wanted to merely because they established the wrong relationships. So you guys got to you got to make sure you're surrounded by people that that is honorable and, and has some form of integrity within themselves. Somebody put integrity in the chat. That's it's big. Right. It's very, very big. J.D. could have ruined a million dollar, multi-million dollar relationship between him and myself because we got so much money to make. We've already made so much money together. We got so much more money to make. He could have he could have disrespectfully ruined that relationship over fifty one hundred dollars. But it wasn't it wasn't worth it to him. But instead, he sent the money back. And, and the note, when he sent the money back, he said, hey, he said, I could only hope to get to the point one day where I accidentally send somebody $5,100 and it's not a big deal to me. Is that anybody else in the room? Anybody else in the room want to be able to accidentally send somebody $5,100 and it's not a big deal to you? Just drop me in the comments. Let me know. See, I'm, I'm, not, here, I'm not here to talk. I'm not here to, I'm not here to, I'm not here to talk, talk, talk too, too nice. But I'm going to talk just nice enough so I don't have to talk twice, all right? I got to keep it spicy for y'all. And here's what I'm going to tell y'all. Watch this. Watch, watch how this thing called life work. I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. Right now, it's 98 people on the call, right? Here's what I'm going to say. If you get off this call before I'm done talking, it's because you don't like money. Let me, let me repeat that again. Let me repeat that again. If you on this call right now, I'm going to add a little some extra to it. If you on this call right now and you get off this call early before I'm done talking or you don't have your camera on, that means that you don't like money. Let me say it one more time, JD, because I don't think that they heard me. If you on this call and you get off this call before I'm done talking and you don't have your camera on. And JD, let me let me get permission. And if you don't, if you don't take this link that you just received and send this to your family member, your friend, your bestie, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin, somebody that you want that you know need this help, you just don't like money. Let me let me let me give it. Let me let me say it one more time. If you on this call and you get off this call 
It's 101 people on this call right now. If you get off of this call before I'm done talking and you don't got your camera on and you don't share this live out with at least five people, you just don't like money. Because what I'm also going to do, and JD didn't know this, I'm going to pick three people today and I'm going to send three people $100 just for being on this call, just for staying to the end, just for having your camera on. And just for sharing out this live with at least five people. So take that link right there that JD just put in the chat. Put that and, and send that to them. Copy it and paste it. And let me know when you're done. Comment five when you're done. Five and done. Comment five and done when you're done. Comment five and done. Let me see who got their camera on now. Let me see something. Y'all thought I y'all thought I was play pimping in here. Okay, cool. I, let me let me shout out some of these people because. We ain't going to get to the end. Y'all going to try to turn on y'all cameras and win my money. We ain't going to do that. Yeah, Joyce just turned that camera. Okay. Hi, Joyce. I saw you. I saw you, Joyce. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Darisa got a camera on. Linda got a camera on. Cool. All right. Qu Queen, Queen Jen Barker got. Okay, cool. Sinead got the camera on. All right. Sonya got the camera on. Tracy got a camera on. Ja got his camera on. I can't, I don't know who. I'm just gonna say iPhone 11. My, my, my brother got his camera on. He laying in the bed. That's still cool. It don't matter how you get it. iPhone, he in the truck, he driving, got the headset on. I don't care how you get it, as long as you here, family. Let's go. Come on. Change them names for me though. If you if it say iPhone, do me a favor, hit that button and change the names for me. So that way I know who you are. So when I get to the end, and I decide I want I want them three people I want to give my hundred dollars to. I'm gonna give each person a hundred dollars. Hey, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't I can't say iPhone because there's too many iPhones in here. All right. GQ, I see you, family. Giselle, I see you. All right. Q, I see you. All right. Okay, cool. All right. So again, I'm I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna say the first part. It's 101 people on the call right now. Make sure y'all invite somebody to this call, send them that link, tell them the password is credit, all lowercase. Y'all know some people be special. Tell them come get in this room, come come learn real quick. If you get off this call before I'm done, you don't like money, period. Period. My brother asked me to pull up. He asked me to educate you guys on, on credit, Metro 2 compliance, and make sure that you can take yourself to the next level. So here's what we're going to do as we get started. As we get started, and you can only win this $100 if you invite five people to the call. So the people that's in the comments that's saying five and done, I'm going to go through those people. I'm going to make sure that they're still here at the end, and I'm going to make sure that their camera is on. And I'm going to pick from those people. I'm not picking from nobody else. I'm not picking from nobody else. All right, just so y'all know. And if and if the room if the room don't move past hundred people, then that means that y'all lying to me. Y'all not being honest. Y'all not being fair. I said I said we like people that's going that that move with honesty and integrity. Okay, let's do that tonight, family. Come on. Here's what I, here's what I want to do. I want to know who I'm talking to before I get into some of the good stuff. Do me a favor. If, if you feel like you're having credit challenges, I'm not going to ask you what your credit score is, but if you feel like you got credit challenges and it's holding you back from being able to have the lifestyle that you want to have and you need to do something about it, you've been looking for a fix, drop a one in the comments. Put a one in the comments. Okay. All right, good. All right. We family in here. We, we, I, we're going to be honest today. All right. And you ain't gotta be you ain't gotta be afraid to drop the one if you if you need help with your credit. That's why we here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get y'all some help. It's good. We family today. All right. All right. Now let's do this. If if you saying you know what, but Dion, I know that I got some challenges um, on my credit, but there are also some people that I know need help with their credit, and I want to be able to help them and make some money while doing it on the side. Like so, maybe I'm making three four thousand in my job take home. I want to make another three four thousand dollars utilizing this software that y'all talking about drop a two in the comments so you want to repay your credit and you want to help other people where you want to make an extra two three four thousand dollars a month okay cool all right good okay good all right all right let just so y'all know we got 100 people on the call i'm gonna keep y'all up to date one person dropped off they don't like money all right okay good all right so then this we're gonna do out right here if you are already in the credit repair industry and you're looking for a better way in order to get results for your clients, 
because the way that you're working right now is not it's not working for you. Drop a three in the comments. That's for anybody that's already running a credit repair company. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna kick it off like this because I I believe that I believe that it's hard for people to see what they can't see because majority of individuals when you try to take them somewhere they lack that vision in order to go there so there's no forward mo movement or momentum because you know what we know what we all like to say and and look we all victim of it. I'm even victim of it we all want to see somebody else do it first am I lying or am I keeping it real we all we all want to see somebody else do it first we want to see some results like did you do it Oh, let me go see you do it first. Let me know how it was. Like, we don't, we're not going to even go see a movie unless you, if you tell me the movie was bad, I probably wouldn't even go see the movie. But if you tell me the movie was good, I'm a, I'm more likely I'm going to go to the movie. All right. The rest of Allison said, she said it's 12 people. Let's go. I like that. Yeah, I like that. So here's what I want to do. Since I'm here to show you how to not only improve your credit with the software, I, I also want to show you how to make some money with the software as well. I want to show you how to make a lot of money in a short period of time. I want to show you how to not make a lot of money over a long period of time, but I want to show you how to make a lot of money in a short period of time. Somebody do me a favor. If we could fast forward to December 31st, 2024 right now, how much money would you have made in 2024? Drop it in the comments. What is that desired number? Is it 100000 for the year in your business? Is it a quarter million dollars for the year in your business? Is it $500,000 for the year in your business? Javon said 100000 Is it 500000 Is it $1 million? Somebody put in the comments, how much is how much would you make? Because here, here's the truth. I want to give you enough information today to where when December 31st come, when you say Happy New Year, you really mean it. Instead of saying Happy New Year, and you really kind of sad because your new year didn't really go as you planned it to go. Ain't y'all tired of saying happy new year and you really, you really didn't have a, a good year? It really wasn't the way you planned it. Like you wanted to like lose some weight. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to like make some more money. You was probably looking for that promotion at, at the job. You know what I'm saying? Your relationship didn't just quite work out. You know, just things just be happening. LaShante, you know what I'm talking about, right? Just, just stuff just be happening. It's just like, dang, why, why me, right? Here's what I'm going to say. They do be saying, like, money don't buy happiness. And I'm not, I'm not saying they do, and I'm not saying that they don't. But, but what I'm telling y'all is this. Being on the other side of financial freedom, I would rather go through some shh financially stable than go through some shh broke as hell. I mean, I, look, y'all can judge me if y'all want to. Say what you want to say. But I'd like to think that y'all would agree. Like, if I'm going to go through something, let me go through it. Let me, like, go through stuff crying, wiping my face with a $100 bill. Like, I don't want to be broke. Like, I'm going to cry anyway. Life is going to life. I'm going to tell y'all life is going to life. So here's what I want to do. I want to show y'all what's, I want to show y'all that it's possible for whatever number you put in the chat. I want to show you that it's possible by December 31st, 2024, if you execute on this software and get going today, you're going to be able to achieve your financial goals because some of y'all showed up today. You wasn't really sure what you was going to really learn today. But again, I want to show you how to, I want to educate you on Metro 2 compliance if you don't know what it is. And I want to show you how this software works, but I want to show you the kind of money that you're going to make and the kind of results. So let me show you the results first. Let me share my screen. Let me show you the results first. Let me, let me, let me show results before I show money. So let's do that. All right. So look, when you, when you utilize, you sign up for this software, you guys are going to get access to the Facebook group, okay? It's already 5,600 people in this group, a growing, vastly growing community that is going to love on you, that is going to help you throughout the process, whether you want to repair your own credit, you want to start a credit repair company, or you're already running a credit repair company and you need help, right? So when you go into the software when you register, you're going to be able to see the link to get inside of this group. You're going to be able to come in here. We got live free trainings three times a week inside of this group. You'll be able to come in here and get some help and get some assistance. But here's the cool part about this group. If I go in here and I, I go in this bank and I, and, I, and, I, and I group I search, let's just say bankruptcy, you'll be able to go in here. You'll be able to see proof of concept of people that have utilized this system and that has removed the bankruptcy just by utilizing the same software that JD is going to show you all today. 
Y'all can see right here, bankruptcy removed. Look at this right here. August 30th. Wasn't this just like, wasn't this, what's today? September something? So this was recent. This said, this person said two bankruptcy deleted from my experience, Equifax. Uh, second round bureau bankruptcy removed in less than 30 days. Talk to me nicely, y'all. Somebody talk, somebody better put some in the chat. If y'all don't put some in the chat, if y'all don't put some emojis in the chat right now, y'all gonna make me mad. Like, look at this. This is three days ago. Somebody said, this morning, my mama called me and told me her bankruptcy was deleted. I'm gonna give y'all the keys to financial freedom right now in this car. This is the keys to success. Because some of y'all get a student loans on there, they gotta go. You got a repossession, they gotta go. You got a bankruptcy, it gotta go. Your husband got a bankruptcy, gotta go. Your wife got a bankruptcy, gotta go. Your child got a bankruptcy, gotta go. Bankruptcy deleted, it's gotta go. Student loans, gotta go. Eviction, it gotta go. Child support, it gotta go. It don't matter what's on your credit report, it don't matter what's on your credit profile. It's gotta go. Somebody put gotta go in the chat. Please put it gotta go. It don't matter what you want to look up. You could come in here. You're going to be able to see somebody that uses software. But here's what I'm going to tell you. $70,000 in student loans removed. Here's what I'm going to tell you. And this is round four. Some of y'all are going to get round, results on round one. You're going to be happy. You gonna have, Some of y'all going to have to go round two. Some of y'all going to have to go round three. Some of y'all going to have to go round four. Four is a very magical number. I'm going to tell y'all here. If you're taking notes, do not judge your results until you have gone a minimum or four rounds. Why, Dion? Because the credit bureaus like to play dirty games and they like to stall. So guess what? They they have been known to stall up to three rounds in a 12-month calendar year for individuals and consumers. So that means I gotta go, I got in order to really give myself a fighting chance with credit repair, no matter what kind of credit repair I'm doing, I gotta go at least four rounds. But that don't mean that you're gonna still get the desired results. You may have to go round five, round six. Round seven till you get your your desired results. But here's the beautiful part about this software. It's as cheap as $147 a month. And then guess what? You can help up to four people a month at $147 a month. Somebody talk to me nicely. Where are my math people at? If it's $147 a month and I can help four people a month for $147, how many people in my household or how many people in my family, how much is it going to cost for each person to help them? How much is it going to cost per month? Okay, for, let me let me let me help y'all. One forty-seven divided by four. How much is that per person per month? Think. Let's come on now. Oh yeah, we getting rid of child support too. Don't don't think don't think we ain't getting rid of child support. We getting rid of all of that. Oh, we get we get rid of some of everything with Metro Two compliance. All right. Yes, there we go. Glamour Sonia, thirty-six dollars and seventy-five cent is what you're going to pay per month. For this software, if it's you and three other people, some of y'all, some of y'all in this room that pay some people a thousand dollars and you ain't getting no, you still ain't, you still ain't, you still waiting on results. You to pay somebody fifteen hundred, you still waiting on results. <laughs> I ain't trying to be mean to y'all. I'm just, I'm just here to, I'm just here to give y'all the truth. But I'm also here to give you the tools to prepare you to not only get results for yourself but to put yourself in position to go get results for other people, to be able to confidently, it's a difference when somebody could come on a call and they can give you the confidence that you need and the integrity that you know that they have in order to move the same way they move to go out there and change your financial situation forever. Because some of y'all are in a bad spot right now because your credit, it starts at three, four, five, and six. Yes, the, everybody in the room was like, oh, shoot, he's talking to me. Yes, I'm talking to you. You you cannot start your business because you don't have any capital. You can't grow your business because you don't have any capital. You can't scale your business because you don't have any capital. You can't get into real estate because you don't have any capital. You can't take advantage of any type of financial opportunities because your credit does not allow you to go to the bank and say, run me my bread. I got over 800 credit score. Any, it don't matter what bank I go to. I can confidently apply for anything and they're going to have to run me my bread. Like it ain't even a, it's not even a question. Like it's not even a question. Matter of fact, let me, let me show y'all this. Let me, I'm gonna show y'all how real I am. Watch this look. Cause what I don't do is I don't, I don't lie. I don't do what, I don't do what the people say. Y'all be like, oh, that person is cat. So let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all this play I ran last night. So you know, this is super impromptu. Let me show you this play I ran last night. Somebody put this in the chat. What did I get approved for? What did I get approved for? When, and when is my car going to be here? 
This is this is the this is the fourth the fourth one by the way. American Express Go approved. My car will be here Wednesday, September twentieth. You gotta you gotta show the people receipts. You gotta show people the real success. Success and failure leaves clues. Success has receipts, right? That's an unlimited American Express gold card. On my other gold card, last month alone, I spent about $35,000. If you follow me on social media, you saw that I paid the bill. I always show people the real what's going on because I don't want people to get, get it confused or get, or get stuff misconstrued. Because with that card, you can't carry a balance on that. That's, a, that's an American Express. Whatever you spend, that's a net 30. Whatever you spend on that card in 30 days is due back immediately. So I spent 35,000 in my business. I had to pay that back within 30 days, right? Let me show y'all, let me show you some more receipts because I know y'all need to see this. Let me show you some more receipts. I, I'm not, I, one thing I ain't gonna do is I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna leave y'all hanging. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all the real me. I'm gonna show y'all the me because I, because I need y'all to show us, I need y'all to know what's possible. I need y'all to know what's possible. All right, I need y'all to know what's possible. Watch this, look, check this out. Let me share my screen. Check this out. This is the this is the real me. Watch this. Look, yesterday, yesterday we made $107. Today we've made $3,074. If you look here, watch this. Look, y'all look. In the last seven days, we made $23,000. Watch this. Look. In the last four weeks, we made $121,000. This is just in one business. All right. I'm, I, I have six different businesses that I run right now. So when JD was in line, when he said he saw me about, I don't know, probably about a year ago, maybe 18 months ago, and I got an award for making $100,000 in one month, right? And then watch this look. In the last three months, $437,000. Then watch this look. We're going to go to year to date. And this is one business, right? I got six. Look at this. This is year to date. Over $2 million year to date. And we just we just passed the halfway mark in a year. We in September. We ain't even got into fourth quarter yet. So again, I'm showing you what's possible. Don't, don't, don't tell me, don't tell me what's not possible. Don't tell me about, don't tell me about the, the, the labor pains and what you had to go through the nine months. Tell, show me the baby. <laughs> don't tell me, don't show, don't talk to me about the pain. Show me the baby. I want to talk about the success. I, I want, I want you to tell me what you are going to do instead of, instead of continuing to focus on what you don't have and what you don't think that you can do. I want you to talk to me about what you can do and what you're going to do. Information changes financial situation, but only with implementation, only with it, only with it, right? Only with it. Queen said, that's insane. That's not insane. Change the word, change insane to possible. That's possible. That's not, not that's insane. That's possible, Queen. Right? Right? Look, let me, matter of fact, look. Oh, I'm finna, I'm about to stir. I'm about to stir some of y'all up tonight. Some of y'all, somebody ain't gonna be able to sleep tonight messing with me on this line. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me show y'all this look. Y'all ain't gonna be able to mess with me tonight. Oh, somebody ain't gonna be able to sleep. I'm finna, I'm playing tonight, JD. I'm playing. I am playing with the only organ in the body that does not have a disposal system. And that's called the brain. What you, what you see today, you can't unsee it. What you hear today, you can't unhear it. Hold on. Somebody needs, somebody need to see this though. Somebody need to see this though. And my other business, $2,896. 2, $2, 50,000 so far this month. $392,000 so far this quarter. Somebody talk to me nicely in the chat. Don't tell me, don't you, don't you, don't you put them limitations on yourself. Don't you put them limitations on yourself. Don't you put them limitations on yourself. Mm -mm, no, I don't, no, don't you do that. Don't you do that. Show me the baby. Show me the baby. So now, so now, so now that we got that understood, somebody, let's do this one more time before we get into the software, we get into Metro 2 compliance. Somebody do me a favor. Come December 31st, 2024, when you say happy new year, how much, how much, how much revenue are you gonna make for the year? Come on now. How much because listen, it's a whole lot of money out here to be got. Don't let me get all this money. Okay, cool. I like, I like, I like how these numbers are increasing. Oh yeah, I like how these numbers are increase. Somebody, somebody that became a believer in here. Somebody that became a believer in here. Let me, let me give y'all a true story. I had one of my best friends come to my house yesterday. Y'all know why he came to my house? He came to my house because he said, 
He said, man, I'm tired of seeing you make all this money. I, I need in, bro. I said, all right. But then he came and he he came to my house and was talking about he wanted to make 300000 a year. I said, listen, bro, if you want to make $300,000 a year, I'm going to need you to. <laughs> we don't do them kind of numbers around here. I said, if I'm going to coach you, you're going to have, you're gonna have, to, you're gonna have to step that number. Up. Come on. We got we to gotta at least go for a million. And I, I kid y'all not, by the time, before midnight hit, by the time that man got home, he was calling me and texting me like, yeah, bro, you was right. I, I believe in myself a little bit more. I said, okay, cool. I said, worst case scenario, we're going to go for a half a million, your first year in your business. Because when I tell y'all I coach, I coach. When I tell y'all I mentor, I mentor. And I get, and look, and y'all, y'all are right now in a favorable position because everything that I teach, I give it all to JD. So JD got all of the keys. I mentor JD. So he got all of the keys. He know, he know what to teach y'all. So, so if you in his program, you're in the right spot. If you're not in his program, then I, I'm telling you, that's what you need to be in. You need to be in his program. He's going to take you there. So let's, so let's get into this. Let me, um, let me explain what Metro two is. And let me explain this software so that when you guys can learn how to use it, know how to execute on it. And uh, you know, take you take yourself and anybody that's utilized this software to the next level. So here, look, this is the software, right? I just logged into my account. Uh, anybody that wants to get access to this software, I'm about to do a walkthrough right now. JD, do me a favor, drop the link to to your software in the chat so everybody can go ahead and hit that registration button. Let me log out so y'all so y'all can see exactly uh, what I'm talking about, so you can know exactly what to do. Because I'm gonna walk y'all through this. When y'all go to the, when y'all get this link, y'all probably gonna have a page that may look like this, or you may have a page that look like this. So you gotta click that button that say register, okay? So click. This is where the money is at. Don't don't fall asleep on this part because this is where the money is at. We we ain't gonna be on this call no more, no longer than probably another ten minutes. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get y'all back y'all night. You gotta click that register button. If you when you click the button, if you see this page already, go ahead and fill out your information. So here's what's gonna happen. If you put your name in here, right, and you start to put your email in here, let's just say I. I I choose this email. You guys are going to see it's automatically going to populate my email down as my username. So your email, whatever email you put in there, it's automatically going to be your username. All you got to do is put your phone number and then enter in your password and hit register. And then at that point, you can enter in all your other information or do that later. And then you can get to the point to where you can get to your dashboard, which is what I'm going to show you. And I'm going to walk you through how to utilize this system. OK, so when you come to your dashboard, this is what you're going to see. This system right here, like JD said, it uses artificial intelligence, right? It uses advanced technologies, right? We're talking about advanced technologies to the point to where you don't even have to do nothing. The only thing that you, you got to really do with this software, whether you're doing it for yourself or for a client, is you got to obviously, when you go to, let's say we go to manage clients tab, you either got to manually put the person in here, or if you got a list of clients, you can, you can import or export the CSV file. So if you go to add client, you can literally manually add a client in here. Or what you can do is this. If I go to my dashboard, there, this link right here on the dashboard, you can copy this link and you can send this to anybody that you want to be a client of yours. And this is, this is after they pay you. So once they pay you for your services, you send them this link and it's automatically going to take them to a page where they're going to create a username and password, right? And then what's going to end up happening is they're going to see a page like this where they're going to be able to enter in all the information, first name, last name, date of birth, social security number, phone number, street address. They're going to be able to you know, upload all of the information. They're going to be able to go in here. They're going to be able to upload the ID by clicking here. They're going to be able to upload their proof of residency by clicking here. They're going to be able to upload um, you know what I'm saying, additional proof of documentation of you know, who they are. Everything gets uploaded in here. Once they are onboarded and they upload it, only thing left after that is they got to enter they got to include a copy of their credit report. There's only four different companies that we use in order to, to monitor somebody's credit to be able to utilize this software. I'm going to show you guys. If you go to uh, if you go to um, manage clients and you scroll over, you'll see the, you'll see these buttons that say upload credit report or or my free score now one click up import, right? So if you need a copy of your credit report, right on the dashboard, you can see this button that says get copy of credit report, or down at the bottom it says get copy of credit report, right? But if you don't have, if you click this button and you don't, let's just say for some odd reason, you don't want my free score now, which is you need my free score now because that is going to be the best credit monitoring service that works with this software, right? But let's just say you may have one of the four. Let me show you, let me show you guys how this works. If you go to manage client and you go to upload report, you'll be able to see right here. You can go to my, you can go to uh, smart credit, my score IQ, identity IQ, or, or obviously you can utilize my free score now. My free score now has 
a Metro 2 comply report that works directly with this software. We are in we are in business with them. We have a partnership agreement with them. So my advice is for everybody, do me a favor, put my free score now in the chat. That's who you want to get your credit report from. And I think it's like $29 for you to get that, get a copy of your credit report. And again, just like you check your bank account every single day, you need to be checking your credit every single day, okay? You need to be checking your credit every single day. Just like you log into that bank account, you, you know it ain't going to change, but you still check it. Your credit be changing, and y'all don't even be knowing what be going on there, but you need to monitor your credit every single day, okay? So we're going to go back to the dashboard. This is where this is where we get into, like, the education part, because the most of you guys are saying, well, I, I want to know about Metro 2, but I want to know how to use this software, right? Here's what Metro 2 is. Metro 2 was put in place in 1997 by the CDIA. Somebody put 1997, C as in cat, D as in dog, I as in igloo, A as in, a as in apple, CDIA. All right. When you, when you register, somebody put register in the chat. All right. So look, once you register, put register in the chat. Metro 2 compliance was put in place in 1997 by the CDIA. The CDIA is the Consumer Data Industry Association. Watch this, y'all. How is it that something that's so effective, y'all seen the results, so effective, so powerful, why is it that it's been around since 1997, but more than half the people in the room don't know nothing about it? Why is that? Why is that? Hmm? Why is the CDIA keeping it from us? Why? Let me tell you why. Because it's a concept of, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sherilyn said they don't want us to be gay. Great, that's exactly right. It's a concept of keep the rich rich and the poor poor. If y'all saw the results that y'all saw where people are able to make financial mistakes and then get it cleaned up via Metro 2 compliance, then why do we why would we tell anybody about this standard that we put in place in 1997? Let me explain what the standard says. In 1997, Metro 2 compliance standard states that any information that is being that is being reported to an, a consumer credit profile, it must meet five points of compliance in order to be reported. If it don't meet all five points of compliance of reportability, then it jeopardizes the integrity of the information that is being reported. So therefore, it does not have the rightful means to even be reported on your consumer credit profile. And it does not matter what's being reported. Does that make sense? If so, drop yes in the comments. If that makes sense, drop yes in the comments. Okay, so what I'm merely saying is this. A lot of us are being told about it. We're being talked about. We talk about factual dispute. We talk about consumer law and all other stuff, right? The reason why those things have a hard time and there's a challenge, challenging time where it does and sometimes it doesn't work because it works. I'm not going to say it doesn't work, but you, you do more arguing with the credit bureau. You do more going back and forth simply because, yeah, that's, that's a credit dispute tactic, but Metro 2 compliance is not a credit dispute tactic, whereas factual dispute is a credit dispute tactic and so because they know that, what they do is they go back and forth and they tell you the information is being verified. The problem with factual dispute is that you're asking the credit bureaus, I need you to verify all information. You can verify ownership, verify all information is accurate, and verify all information is complete all across all three bureaus. If it's not, I need you to delete the account or update it the right way. Nine times out of 10, they update it and, and or they say to you, uh, we verified the account and they're lying. Do y'all know? Do y'all know why? If if you try to go through credit repair before, whether you did it yourself or you try to pay somebody to do it, do you know why it was a hassle? Does anybody know why it was a hassle? Yeah, yeah. See, look, Lashante Williams said they just told me they verified the information. They lying. The reason why they told you that they verified your information, Lashante, is because the credit bills for every single account that they are reporting publicly, they get paid money every single month that they report that account. Oh, snap. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, way too cool. They get paid to report their information. So if I'm in business, because the credit bureau is just, a, they not a, just so we know y'all, the credit bureaus, they put bureau on their name so they can sound important like they're a government agency and they not. They're LLC. They're, they, they have articles of incorporation. So just like if you go and op, incorporate your business, you get on there and you pay your little $100 for your LLC, you live in the state of Georgia, they did the same thing. They're not important, y'all. They're not, they not a registered government agency at all. <laughs> they lying. But, but they're getting paid to report. So if they delete information, they losing money. But see, with Metro 2 compliance, because it's a compliance standard that they put in place, they have to legally abide by it. 
it's it is it is a compliance standard that they have to abide by. They can't navigate it. The only thing that you will see with Metro 2 compliance when you send off your letters is you will get what's called a stall letter. All only thing you got to do, somebody put stall letter in the chat. When you see a stall letter, all you got to do is just keep sending your next round of letters. That's it. That's it. So when you see a stall letter, you can go in the chat right now. You can you can search stall letter. You'll see a lot of people say, hey, I got a stall letter, but I'm about to keep attacking. Or I got a stall letter. I'm new here. What do I do? You just keep going. You just keep going. Somebody put keep going in the chat. You got to keep attacking. That's it. That is it. That's what Metro 2 compliance is. There's five points of compliance. Y'all homework for tonight is to Google Metro 2 compliance and look at what is the five points of compliance. It's long, it's long and it's a lot of information. Let me let me get y'all, let me get y'all one of the main points of the five points of compliance. Um if the credit bureaus, if if you challenge something on your credit report and they want the information to stay, you know what they got to do in order to get it to stay? Any anybody that's that's involved with that account being reported, let's just say you owe ATT some money and they they sold it to a collection agency. That, that collection agency sold it to another collection agency. And it, that that's sold it to somebody else. So now we got AT and T, we got the three credit bureaus, and we got two two collection agencies of all. So we got the credit bureaus. We got six parties that have to be have to communicate and have to all be on the same accord and all in the same agreement that this account, all information is accurate, it's ownership, and that it needs to actually be reported. And the only way that the credit bureau can get that account to stay is they must send they must send carbon copy, handwritten documentation to every party that's involved. With that account, even the secondary bureaus. If LexisNexis or CoreLogic is housing information, they got to send it to AT and T, LexisNexis, CoreLogic, the, the 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 person that bought the account, the second third party that bought the account. They got to send communication to all of them, like carbon copy, and they got to wait on them to reply back. Carbon copy, USPS snail mail. They not doing that. You know why they not gonna do that? Because it takes too much time, too much energy, too much manpower, and it's and it's and it's not cost efficient because. They only get paid like twenty to thirty dollars a month to report this account, but they report billions of accounts every single month, so they making a bag. So the reality is that they say, you know what? Oh, Metro Two, I'm gonna wash my hands with it. Just delete it. I don't care if it's a bankruptcy, child support, eviction, collection, student loan. I am going to delete it because it's gonna cost me more money to fight to keep this on than to delete it. Does that make sense, y'all? So let me know. Drop a yes in the comments. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, good, good. Now that's Metro 2. Now let's look at this software. Let's let's see how this software uses not only Metro 2 compliance, but artificial intelligence in order to help y'all. So watch this look. One of the very first things that y'all could do if you registered, you could go to M2 Exit Plan Learning Center. And y'all could literally go in here and watch these videos on how to literally upload your credit report, how to send off your first round of letters. You're gonna be able to go in here and literally watch all of these videos just so that you can have a clear understanding prior to you actually going ahead and then generate your letters. This is super cool, y'all, right? So I would I would encourage everybody to go ahead and watch these videos. All of the videos, they're only like maybe five minutes long each video. So you're going to take 30 minutes just to educate yourself. You can click here to go inside of that group that I told you. Once you click here, this will take you to that, that, that support Facebook group. And again, we do three trainings a week in that group. We drop in the group what time, what days and times trainings are. So you guys will be able to get on there and you learn. It's 100% for free. It ain't costing you nothing. Somebody put free in the chat. Free in the chat. Hey, look, we got 98 people in the room. That means that since I started, it was 101 people. Three people left. They don't like money, y'all. They don't like money, y'all. I'm giving, this is free game, free information. It's going to free somebody. All right, somebody, one person came back. We had 99. <laughs> All right, so go in here, watch these videos, right? Then here's what you want to do. You want to go back to the dashboard, and this is where, this is where it gets really good for you guys. Now we got to go on. We got to purchase a subscription plan. I need everybody, if you registered, everybody should have registered by now, right? It's a it's 100 people on the call. Everybody should have registered. Somebody said, JD, where's the link? And listen, this is what I need y'all to do. This is what, this is what I need y'all to do. If, I, if, if before I get off this call today, and, and right now, if I said something that y'all love, I need y'all to do me a favor. This is my slogan, y'all. Drop I love credit in the chat, man. Drop I love credit in the chat. Drop I love credit in the chat. JD, put the put the link to um so that they can they can go ahead and register. Drop it a few times for them. All right, good. I love y'all too, man. We love credit, man. Credit, credit changed my life. 
I'm a multi million. I'm the multi millionaire that y'all see today because credit credit changed my life. When I got into entrepreneurship, <laughs> just just so y'all know, like I had like forty thousand dollars in credit cards. That's what jump started my entrepreneurial career. That's it. Sounds crazy as hell. Like I was paying child support and everything with my credit credit card. Man, this was crazy, y'all. I can't make none of this up. Look, y'all. I got a wife. I got three kids and a mama that I take care of. I was doing all that with credit cards. Something wrong with me, y'all. But hey, look, God, God made a way for me. So I don't know. You can say what you want to say. <laughs> God made a way for me. So when y'all click that link, it works right. I just want to make sure that it works the right way. And everybody is able to get registered. If you register, y'all register. I see you, Deanna. I see you, Queen. I see you. I see y'all. I see y'all. And look, matter of fact, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I said I was going to pick three people for all of that stuff. I'm going to get y'all $100. This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to make it even spicy. I'm going to, JD, JD, man, I'm, I'm going to make it, I'm going to, I'm going to make it even spicy. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to give three people, I'm not going to give three people um, $100. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give, I'm going to give five people today a total of $150. <laughs> but this is what you got to do to get it. You got to, at the very bare minimum, start your start your package today of at least 147 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give five people their first month for free. It's on me. Yeah, I love credit too. So what you're going to do in here is you're going to pick the package that works best for you. I'm only giving out 150 to five people. Five, five lucky people who create their account. Listen, I know when you register, you create your account. JD, know when you register, you create your account. All we're going to do is if you're still on this call at the end, right? And your camera's on, and we can go through the list of people and see who actually created their subscri subscription today. Five of y'all gonna get y'all money back. Hell, you was gonna do it anyway. You was gonna do it anyway because you need to repay your credit or you need to go ahead and, and get this package so your way you can start and make some money on the side. But let me break down these plans for you so I can make this make sense. 147 a month, you get four GAs a month. Four GAs means you can send out four rounds of letters per month. Four rounds of letter. One round of letters, you can send it to unlimited. Unlimited people that you need to send it to. So that means that with one, one round of letters, you can send out to the credit bureaus, the secondary bureaus, any third parties involved. So you can if, if in one round of letter you need to send out 29 letters, you can do that. I'm gonna show y'all today. Y'all gonna watch me, y'all gonna watch me generate these letters, right? Y'all gonna watch this happen. So that means that for 147 a month, you can service up to four people a month. So if you're running, if you want to get started with your, if you want to just repair your credit and maybe a few people in your household, or you or you trying to jumpstart your credit repair business, 147 a month is ideal. Also, 197 ain't bad either because it helps eight people. So if you say, look, I got my myself, my spouse, my two kids, that's four already. And I want to also, I got a few friends that I want to help. You go with 197 a month and it gets you eight GAs a month. So you can help eight people a month, right? So look at the packages and get the package according to what suits you best. But if somebody in here and they said, well, I'm running a credit repair company and I'm servicing at least 30 clients a month. I need to send 30, 30 rounds of letters a month. All right, you're going to get the 397, right? You're going to get the 397 and it's going to allow you to send what? 30, 30 letters, 30 rounds, or you can help 30 people a month. Is this making sense? If this making sense and this is good, drop yes in the chat. All right. I want to make sure y'all still follow along. Okay, good. Okay, good. Right? So you got to get the package in according to what works best for you. So here's what I will tell you. I know y'all saying like, okay, it come with three attacks. It come with four attacks. It come with five attacks. And then these at the top, the more expensive come with six attacks. Here's what I'm going to tell you. All attacks have the same amount of potency, which means that you're going to get results as you continue to send off your letters. I've seen people delete bankruptcies with 147 a month. I've seen people delete bankruptcies with 397 a month. It doesn't necessarily matter. What, ma what matters the most is that you send off your letters and you're very consistent in between your next round of letters. So that means that every time you decide you're going to send a letter, those letters need to be sent between your 30th and 35th day. Because legally and technically, the credit bureau has got 30 days to respond. Even if you don't get a response within that 30 to 35th day, still send off your next round of letters. Because remember, they try to stall you, right? So if just because you don't get results, that don't mean that not nothing is happening. That means they could be stalling you. So you may not see results until you send off your second or third round or maybe even fourth round, but keep sending off your letters. But all we all, all it is is you just get incentivized with different attack types as you spend more money with the software. It's just an incentive. So not only do you get more GAs, you're really paying for the actual rounds of letters that you're sending, but we just added a bonus of a different type of letter that you could send in the higher packages. Does that make sense? And so drop yes in the chat. 
All right, so now that we're on this page, everybody in here that has at least go ahead and they re you registered and you got your account started, drop I'm ready in the chat. Drop I'm ready in the chat. Yep. Now you put I'm ready in the chat. Put I'm ready in the chat. If you got your subscription, put I'm ready in the chat. JD, do me a favor. Not only are we going to make sure that everybody that's saying I'm ready, they really actually purchased their subscription. But what we're going to do is once you're done with your group tonight, we're going to jump on here and we're going to go through everybody. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to make it even spicy. I'm, a, I'm going to pick the people live. Since, since y'all thought I was play pip, I'm going to pick the people live on the call tonight. Is that, is that cool with y'all? If that's cool, drop yes in the chat. I'm going I'm to pick y'all live before we get out. But that's going to be the last thing I do. I'm going to pick five people. That's going to get $150 from me. And then what I'm going to do is this. Um, JD, if you can for me, the people that I pick, can you, um, I'm going to send you an email that I need them to um, send an email to so that I can send them their money so I don't have to um, send each individual person uh, a message, JD, okay? I'm about to send it to you right now. So, J.D., as I pick the individual people, do me a favor. As I pick the people, J.D., I need you to just send them, just copy that email right there and just send it to them. All right, so look, now that y'all saw the rate plans, again, I'm going to pick five people today. I'm going to send you $150. So five lucky people who was already going to start your rate plan anyway, you're going to get $150 from me. So the first money is on me. Your second, third, or however many months you got to go to, you get your desired results. That's on you, okay? All right. Hey, yeah, Glamour Sonia said camera on. Somebody try and win some money, y'all. I, I see what y'all doing in this chat. All right, look. So watch this, y'all. Look, look, watch this, watch this, watch this. If we go to um, if we go to work area, so once somebody is uploaded in the software, they they got their profile created. Let me go back to this real quick because I think this is important. I, I kind of skipped over this really fast. Let me do this real quick. When somebody get added into this profile. Because the credit bureaus are very, very, I want to put it, meticulous, and they very bogus, and, and they try to play dirty games in order to keep information reported, everything that's listed on your ID, make sure that it matches what's getting put in here, okay? Everything that's on your ID, make sure that for your proof of residency document, make sure that that matches as well, all right? And, and, and make sure that everything that you take a picture of, the ID, the proof of residency, the social security card, or the birth certificate, or whatever you send in, make sure that the documents, not only for yourself, but for your clients, when they upload and they put in here, make sure that they are very, very clear and legible, okay? This is very important, y'all, for yourself or for any clients that you're going to service, because if the credit bureaus can't read it, they are going to try to deny you getting results or respond to you in any shape, form, or fashion. They are, they not your friend. Just so you, just, just so you, we call them the credit mafia. <laughs> we call them the credit mafia. Y'all, we got 93 people on the call. There's some people in here that, that they, they ain't like money. They had to get off y'all. They ain't like money. Where will you put a middle initial? You could put it, you could put it right here in your first name if you want to. Like if, if your name is, let's just say Sonia. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. They blocked it out. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, okay. little security. Okay. That's crazy. Boy, they be updating this stuff. I don't be knowing what's going on with software. These let me see if I can um um unblock this. So let's just say it's Sonya H, right? You can put it right there and it'll it'll capture it for you. All right. All right. We we do we do we do um I I'll try to I'll try to make time for y'all to do a few questions. But I'm, I'm let me show y'all how fast this software works because it's some people that's still on the fence and y'all haven't quite subscribed yet. And I need y'all to hit that subscribe button and go ahead and get at least that 147 plan so that way you can get started. But watch this right here. So if we're going to go, if we want to generate an attack, we need to go to work area, right? When we go to work area, any, any of your old letters is going to show in this area right here that has been sent out for you or your clients, right? Right? And then when you want to actually go ahead and generate around the letters, you're going to go to this right here that says go to attack area. We're going to pick the client's name that we want to send off a letter to, which is a test client in our case, we're going to pick the report and then we're going to pick an attack. We'll just pick Emeru and we're going to go Emeru round one. So if we're sending off our letters and we start with Emeru one, then the next one is going to be Emeru two for second round, Emeru three for third round, Emeru four for fourth round. What are we going to send for, 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 for our fifth round, y'all? If we got to go five rounds, what are we going to send? Emeru what? What are we going to send? 
Somebody let me know in the comments. Come on. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to follow with me now. I want to make sure y'all paying attention. Emerald 5. There we go, Glamour. Come on. Come on, Sony. I appreciate you. All right, Bessie, here we go. Look. So now this part, y'all will actually learn this in the videos, but I'll kind of explain this to you. Really quickly, everything that's in the blue box, whether it's personal information, public records like bankruptcies, child support and all that, any inquiry, student loans, medical charge-offs, all of these different categories, if it's in a check in the blue box, that means that we're going to send letters to the three credit bureaus for these particular documents. If you check Green box, like I recommend, well, if you got a bankruptcy in your credit profile, I recommend you check a green box because the green box says, I'm going to send a separate letter specifically for any public records that's on this person's credit profile. So that means that you're going to have for these items in the blue, you're going to have three letters. And then for any, any time you put a green check, you're going to have another three letters minimum. Does that make sense? So that means that if I check blue and then if I know I got a bankruptcy and I check this green check, that means I'm going to have about six letters that's going to go out to the credit bureaus. If I know that I got student loans and I check this green box and I want to attack them separately, now that I know that I'm going to have at least nine letters. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay. Y'all y'all are smart. Most people be like, nah, bro, you lost me, bro. Y'all, Y'all got it today. Okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do is this. Then we'll go here. We'll go, we'll go unlimited. We'll just put unlimited. You might learn some different in training, but I'm going to just put unlimited because I want to give myself the best um, ability to be able to maximize the efficiency. Now, here's what I'll say. If you put everything on one letter, you, you could get results, but it just may not be effective. But it also is going to be cheaper for you to send those letters because you're only sending out three letters. But if you attack it separately, it's going to cost you more money because you got to spend more money on mailing. But then it's going to be more effective because you're sending out letter specific attacks. Okay. So you could say, all right, I want to be cheap and I'm okay waiting on get results maybe down the line. Or you can say, I want to spend a little bit more money to be uh, ultra effective in order to attack stuff and get straight to the point. So we're going to go with next. Now, the system, if you watch this, the system is operating, it's doing its thing, right? Now, just that quickly, it has put together this report. There's going to be an arrow to your bottom right hand corner. We're going to hover on that. And then you guys will see all these boxes pop up. The only accounts that are positive, that are good, that need to stay on this person's credit profile are those that are in dark, deep green. Everything else is got to go. Somebody put got to go in the chat. All right. So what we can do is before we generate our letters, we can go right here, hit this box right here that says have positive accounts. And then now if we hover over, all of the positive accounts are hidden. Here's what I'm going to tell y'all. Metro 2 and its artificial intelligence is so effective. If you don't hit high positive accounts, and you generate your letters and you and you attack some never to neck uh some positive accounts and you send it off. I'm just telling you, like there's a young lady in the group, she accidentally deleted her mortgage. Now, what I will say is this: if it's an active positive account and you pan on it, nine times out of ten, it's going to come back because it's active, it's it's and then it's installment loan and you paying on it. But I'm just telling you to be careful because that's how powerful Metro 2 is. <laughs> so like, you don't want your mortgage gone. <laughs> you, don't, you, don't want, you don't want your car note going that you're paying for. Don't try nothing. Don't try to be slick. Yeah, all right. Now, here's what I'll tell you. At this point, if you want to mail off your letters by yourself, you can. 100%. You can go ahead and hit generate letters. You can download your letters. You can mail them out. If you decide you want to mail them off yourself for you or your clients, you're going to mail them out. Don't do not do not print in color. And make sure you print double-sided and black and white. And then every single letter that get generated, if you got if you got six letters that's going to experience, you cannot put them all in one envelope. They got to go in separate envelopes. That's six envelopes, okay? Or you can sit, or you can utilize um, the 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 mailing services for the system, and you can go to document destination, and you could pick Brent Bradford, you could pick Batty, you could pick you could pick. I would, I would recommend you pick these two because these two individuals, Brent Bradford and Batty, they have the most experience. So I would pick one of these two individuals and allow them to, I will click on them and I will input all of my information here and allow them to mail off the letters for you. So what happened is, is this, once you complete all this information and continue, then you hit generate letters. Then you hit generate letters, right? Once you hit generate letters, you're going to see a message that says you got to confirm that you're going to generate letters. They're going to get a copy of your letters and you're going to get a copy of your letters in the software as well. Then what's going to happen is once they get a copy of your letters, you're going to check your regular mail and your junk mail because whatever email you have on file, they're going to email you your invoice. So they'll say, hey, you got 30 letters going out. Um, for your 30 letters, it's going to cost you $45. 
And then they're not going to mail your letters until you actually pay the invoice. Once the invoice is paid, you will be able to see well, if you go back to the work area and my, and look, just so y'all know right here, I'm gonna show y'all in a second. Just so y'all know, I just generated all these letters, right? You see it say test. This look, this, this software just generated all of these letters. Look at this. This, this software right in front of you just generated 24 different letters. Y'all better talk to me nicely in the comments. Somebody better tell me I love credit or some. <laughs> somebody let me be somebody better let me know something in the comments. Y'all just I just did this right here in front of y'all. Hello, Carmen. Look, hello, Carmen. Come on now. L let me show y'all how these letters look though. Watch this. Look, this is going to experience. This, sa this says right here, this is one of 39 pages. So I literally just generated like three, four hundred pages right here in front of y'all. Software just did this. No lie. No, what they say, no cap. Look at this, y'all. Look. Look at this. Look, look at all this. This is all Metro 2 compliant documentation. Metro 2, it supports the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which is factual dispute. Y'all gonna see some factual in here and, and consumer law. Look at all this. Look. Y'all know I didn't just do this. Don't be, don't be trying to make it seem like I'm I'm pulling some, I'm pulling some fancy hokey pokey stuff on y'all. And then look, boom, my bill is here, my social security card is here, and my ID is here. I ain't even got to do nothing separate for that. It's all done for you. Look at this, letter number two. We're going to Equifax. Hello. What's this? One, two of 28 letter, tw 28 pages. Hello. And look, so then look, that means that we got 24, we got 24 different envelopes, 24 different letters that's going to the credit bureaus. Oh, they're going to be mad as hell. They ain't got no choice but to give us the results. They ain't got no choice. They ain't got no choice but to give us results. So that's how this software works. That's how powerful and effective Metro 2 compliant is. I hope this made sense to y'all. So here's what I want you, I'm going to tell y'all again. If you, ain't, if, if you ain't convinced, you, I know you got to be convinced now. Go to the dashboard. Hit subscription plans and GAs. Go down here to 147. Click buy. And invest in yourself today. It's only 147. It's a, it, right now, we still got 88 people on the call. Y'all obviously love money. So if you want to put yourself in a position to get access to more cash and capital, you will pay the 147 so you can repay your credit and put, your, put yourself back into the, the driver's seat of financial freedom for you and your family. And then, and then if you're really intelligent, you want to take it to the next level, you will probably utilize that 147 to start. You'll, you'll get your first couple of clients because watch this. You can tell a couple of people. You can drop it in your group chat, your friends, because here's the deal. One out of every three people got bad credit. So that means that if, you, if, if it's a group of friends and it's three of y'all and you one of them, and you got good credit, that means that one of your other two best friends, they got bad credit. You can go in your group chat and say, hey, listen, if y'all need y'all credit repair, look, I'll repair your credit for you. I got you, family. Just throw me like, just throw me like $500 or like, just throw me like $250. I got you. And just, and just start the process to at least do, do a little bit of work, get used to the software, get used to helping somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all, like, so you ain't even really got to pay to really repair your credit. You can help two or three people and charge them 250 and say, I'm gonna repay your credit, and you get yours done for free. But I mean, y'all don't, and, but hey, I mean, I mean, I guess y'all ain't listening to me. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe I don't know what making money sounds like. Maybe I don't understand making money. Maybe, maybe huh? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, Dar thank you, Darissa. Thank you. She said, Yes, that's the plan. That gotta be the plan. That got to be the plan. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop sharing because I'm, I'm going to go in this back office. I want to see who created an account. Um, and I'm going I'm to pick um, I'm gonna pick these winners. So let's do this. JD, um, if anybody got questions, let's do like let's do like five questions real quick. I can't take everybody's question. Uh, but let's let's if y'all got a question, raise your hand and we'll go down. We'll go, we'll take the first five people and we'll I'll let you guys. Um, uh, ask me a question. If y'all got a question about the software Metro 2. So that way you got, you know, you got a better understanding. And then what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna pick these five people who registered today. I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna send you guys 150 bucks. So let me know what questions y'all got. Raise your hand. Let me see if y'all, oh, maybe y'all can't raise your hand. Maybe he got that. Uh, let me see if y'all can actually raise your hand. Let's see. Oh yeah, y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all can raise your hand. Okay, cool. Uh, GQ, uh, go ahead, unmute and, and ask your question. Hey, good evening, man. Appreciate all the information you provided. Um, I just had a really quick question. How much is your one-on-one? -on -one? And kind of, I guess, break down what comes with that. Got you. So one-on-one -on -one session has to be everything business-related about your business. And a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can ask me any business questions related 
to your business, how to either get started, grow or scale your business. I will give you the answers. And a one-on-one -on -one with me is $10,000, brother. Yep. That's, that's, that's it. So if you're serious about it, uh, I'll, I'll change my name on here. So that way you guys can um, follow me on Instagram. If you're not already following me and then you could just send me a DM and let me know if you want a one-on-one. -on -one. Here's what I will tell you. That price may sound crazy, but it's crazy if you're not making that at least a week. Somebody talk to me nicely. So you can, you can let 10,000, you can let a $10,000 one-on-one scare you from making $10,000 a week if you want to. Or if you want, I mean, get into JD's program. JD got access to me again. He's going to have the same information that I would have. So if you're not in JD program yet, you need to get in there. So I don't, I don't know the price points. I can't really speak to his program, but that's, that's definitely where you would want to be. But what I'll tell you is don't let, don't let the cost of something keep you from, um, you know, the real end goal. Like a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, I want to get in your program. Like, you know, like my high level mentorship program. And that's just the first level of it is $20,000. So I'll coach you. I'll coach you for, for a full year for 20,000. But the real, the reality is that it's very high level conversation. So if you haven't even started your business, you don't even qualify to be in that program. Cause in order to get in that program, you got to at least be making $20,000 a month minimum. The conversations are just too high level. You know what I mean? But the, most people don't understand that they can't fathom it. So they let 20,000, they let a $20,000 investment keep them from making $20,000 a month. Yeah. But you got to, again, this is when, when, when you really get to the point to where you really understand your note, you know, your worth and you understand the value that you have. Like, I mean, for me, to be honest with you, for me to charge $10,000 for one hour with me, the kind of information that I give in one hour is ridiculous. I, I know that I'm giving, I'm, I know that I'm giving away a seven figure game plan and seven figures worth of information. I know that. I already know that. But I also have to guard my purpose and I have to guard my time because if I allow people to pay me $100 or $200 for one-on-one, -on -one, then it devalues me and the information I'm going to provide it. And I'll be, I'll have too many people that can afford to, to get time with me. And my time is precious. Every like my mentor, he charges forty thousand dollars an hour, and the minimum that you can book him is eight hours. <laughs> so for me, I I charge five thousand dollars every thirty minutes, but the minimum that you can book me is for one hour. So if I decided I wanted to spend a day with my mentor, like y'all know what the price tag on that is, like it's 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 not cheap. A day with my mentor. Right now, as it stands, it's $350,000. 350000 And it's not, I mean, he deserves it. He deserves it. Because he he showed me, like JD said, he showed me how to make, I've made over a million dollars in one day before. $4.6 million in one day to be exact. So why can't I pay him $350,000 to spend one day with me to give me more information that's going to do nothing but help me make more money? Like I know it, I know it sounds crazy, but I promise, so a man think it, so it is he. Like, so a man think it, so it is he. Yeah. So a man think it. All right. Uh I I, I hope I've been saying this right the whole time. D Miss Duressa Allison, you could uh unmute. Have I been saying your name right? Please tell me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> JD, you hear that? He said my name right, Duressa. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. <laughs> I just want to, I think you did kind of answer the question, but I just want to make sure I'm understanding this, right? So basically this software actually does all the work. Yep. Like it have all the letters in there. So basically yep. I will actually have to just print them out, get them mailed out. That's it. That's it. Like you don't even have to do that. Like only thing you really got to do is either for yourself or for your client, all you got to do is just upload a credit report into the software. Once it pulls and downloads the credit report, like you saw me go to the work area, I'll just pick the person's name and whatever report that they uploaded. And then the software will analyze that report and it's going to sort from negative and positive accounts. You hit pad positive, then all the negative accounts will show. Then all you gotta do is just hit generate if you wanna mail them out yourself or you can go to document destination and pick one of those PAM providers. And then what they'll do is they'll mail them out for you. So you actually don't even have to go to the post office if you want to, you can sit at your house and just make a lot of money. Like, like I'm not saying this and joking. Like there's a lot of people that coach and that mentor 
and y'all and, and, and y'all and y'all gotta and I'm not I, I can't be mad at y'all, but a lot of y'all be like, oh, that that person be scamming, right? Here's what I'm gonna say: they are scamming. They don't if they don't have proof of concept, if they don't have no receipts, if they don't have any testimonies, if they don't have nobody that they helping, they are scamming because what a scam is is that a, a person that scam know that they're gonna take your money without giving you anything in return. That's a scammer. Mm -hmm. Like I, eight out of 10 of my people that come through my program, they're making six figures a year using this software. It's it's easy, y'all. Like if anybody okay. on this call missed it, you missed the fact that you could spend 147 or 197. Look, 197 come with eight, it come with eight GAs. If you were servicing eight clients a month, and let's just say you charge them all a thousand dollars a piece, that's eight thousand dollars a month. You're only paying the software two hundred dollars. You're gonna make six figures for the year. You're going to get results. The work is going to work because you're utilizing the software. You're using artificial intelligence. It's not, it's not if it's going to work, but just when is it going to work? What round are they going to actually see their results where they're satisfied? And you just got to just utilize the, the software. Hopefully that makes sense. Go ahead, Ms. Allison. Okay. So I don't have to print the letters out. I can actually use the software even to submit those letters. Yes. So basically yeah. I could just sit and just type and that's it? You could just sit. You could sit right on your fanny and just make a lot of money. You you could you could sit right in that chair that you sitting, and and guess what you do? I'm gonna give everybody some game. Three times a day, really four, but three that three times a day in the afternoon, in the morning, afternoon, in the evening. We talking about between nine and ten. We talking about between twelve and one, and we talk about between five and six. You make a post and say, "Hey, I want to help at least three people repair their credit." Send me a direct message that says credit. So that way you can book a call and we can go ahead and get you helped. And I'm going to do it for half the price today. So, a, so instead of you paying $1,000, I'm going to do it for, I'm going to do it for 500 for the first three people only. People are going to DM y'all and they're going to say, um, I need help, please. Can you, can you repair my credit? And then guess what you're going to do? You're going to take their money. And guess what's going to happen? Not, 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 you're going to say, I'm only going to help the first three people that DM me credit. But what happens when eight people DM you and say that they're ready to pay you $500 to repair their credit? You're going to take eight people's $500. You're going to make $4,000. And you're going to have a good problem on your hands. And you're going to go in that software and you're going to have to, now you're going to have to increase your rate plan to the 197 from 147. You have to pay that $200 and get all, all eight of them people credit profile uploaded. What happens when you, what happens, what happens when you do that fourth post? That post between 11 and 1 o'clock in the morning where everybody is trying to fix their life and get their life together. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When you be laying in the bed and you on social media and you scrolling and you get to buying shit. Yeah, that time. <laughs> you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. You, you see somebody mm -hmm. selling something. You see that girl that said, well, if you book me right now, I'm going to give you a discount. And you get to booking. Don't, ladies, don't act like you ain't sat in your bed at midnight and booked your hair appointment or, or booked your nail appointment or booked your day at the spa. It go the same for credit repair too in business. It's called an overnight post. And then from 12 to 1, you make that post and say the same thing. I want to help at least three people repair their credit. I'm doing it for half the price. So instead of 1000 I'm going to do it for 500 Just DM me credit. You go wake up in the morning. What if you wake up in the morning another eight people that DM'd you credit? And they're ready to pay you $500. So in two days, you mean to tell me you'd have made $8,000 in two days? Maybe I'm talking too spicy for y'all. Maybe y'all don't really love credit like that. It's cool, though. It's cool. Okay. All right, cool. All right, thank you. Because you did right. answer another question I had, but you already answered in the midst of that speech. So I appreciate it. Thank All you. Right. No problem. No problem. Uh, Sonia Burrows. Or Bur no, Burrows. That's Burrows. Sonia Burrows. All right, you can go ahead and unmute. Talk to me. I just did that. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Dion. I just had a quick question. Would Talk this to be helpful to someone who has no credit? Um, no, because this is really for, this is for you to remove derogatory items. So this okay. is for people that, uh, that has credit challenges and have negative items on their credit profile. Okay. All right. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. Glamour Sonia, talk to me. You was in the chat going crazy. Hey, Dion, how are you? I'm all right. How about you? I'm great. Thank you for all this information. Quick question. Actually, I have two. The first one is if you just signed up for the 147 and then you realize you wanted the 197, is there a way to upgrade? Mm -hmm. um, so to answer that first question is you can upgrade by you can go in there, you can click 
and you can cancel the subscription that you have and you can repurchase the new one. But the, the deal is, is when you pay, you pay for those GAs. Okay. So, so you, if you pay 147, you want to go up to 197, you just have now a total of 12 GAs is what you would have paid for. Okay. Yep. Great. The second question real quick is uh, looking at the, my free, let me just go back to it. Sorry. Cause I don't have it in front of me. I already did the, my free score now. Okay. And on there, you see a piece of information, like exactly. I have one account back from 2019, right? We've been fighting that, but it shows a certain amount of days late. But when I look at my actual credit report on that same bureau site, it shows 90 days late. So this my free credit score um score now report is this something I can take and use to submit and show the inaccuracy? Yes, absolutely. Yep, that's why you get it because you can't use anything else really to with that with this particular software. So you need that. You're gonna upload that into the actual software and it's going to take care of that for you. So this software also updates late payments. So just so we on the same page, when you're looking at credit repair, when it comes to late payments, you can't delete them because that's not something that that is deletable. The only thing you do is when you use the software or you send in letters, you're actually demanding and requesting that they take it from showing as late to updated and on time as positive. So we so that happens with the software as well. So they, it'll take care of that for you. Yep. So yep. wait, I'm sorry. You said they they can't delete the late payments, but they can update it. No, I'm giving you accurate information so that way you guys know what to speak to for those who maybe want to start their credit repair company. You don't delete late payments. There's nothing to delete. You only okay. update late payments. You can delete derogatory and negative items. You can delete accounts, but you can't delete a payment. Like a payment is either it's either on time or it's late. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We just take it from we just take it from late and they just update it to on time. Okay, good enough for me. Yep. Yep. Thank you. No problem. Uh Tamora, talk to me. Good evening. Uh thank you. No um problem. My, I have two questions, I think. Uh, first question is when a client makes a payment, is that a one-time payment that they're making for this service? Uh, yes. So, I mean, again, it's up to you. So I have mentees that do a, a variation of, and here's the truth. Let me get, let me, let me get, let me get y'all some, let me get y'all some, some legal stuff to protect y'all. And this is why when people come through my program, I give y'all all these different contracts. Like I give y'all everything to protect y'all self. Um, Legally, you can't you can't charge a one time upfront payment for a credit repair. That's legally right. So that means that if you're going to go into credit repair, you need to have some form of documentation that will protect you. Now, again, if you're just kind of flying underneath the radar and doing a little credit repair here and there, just trying to get started, few family members or whatever, who the heck is going to know that you violated any legal ramifications? Like if you're not really running a credit repair business, that. But if you're going to go get articles of incorporation, you're going to incorporate yourself, and you're saying, and I would say, don't don't make your company name nothing with credit in it because you'll never be able to get a bank account. It just need to be something like financial services. Uh, you need to be like um, consulting services, anything with credit in it, the financial institutions and banks, they don't support that. So you'll never be able to get a bank account or a merchant account. And you don't want to be in that position. You never want to tell any financial institute that you're actually doing credit repair. But from a legal standpoint, you can't technically take one a one-time upfront payment for a credit repair. It's supposed to be like a, an enrollment fee and then it's supposed to be a monthly fee or an additional fee that you charge somebody for the services that that they're going to render. But you can it's up to you. You just have to if you if you want to tell somebody if you want to take a one time payment, like let's say five hundred dollars, you can do that. But you need to have a contract that they sign that states that, hey, this payment that you made, a uh, 20 percent of it was for your your enrollment fee. You know, what I'm saying your processing fee, your consultation. And then the other 80% of it was for the services that was rendered to you or that's going to be rendered to you, so to speak. So that way you're breaking it up and you now you can legally protect yourself. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. I just, because I, just, I, cause I could feel somebody in here is, you're going to really, somebody in here really going to go crazy with this and you're going to be taking 15, 20, 30 clients a month at five, you know, at, at $500 a pop and you're going to look up next year, you're going to be made a quarter million dollars utilizing this software because you're going to see how easy it is. Like I remember this young lady I'm not even going to say her name, but she came into my program. It was in, whew, it was in uh, December of 2022. By the time March of, of 2023, which is this year hit, she had went from borrowing the money to get into my program from her sister 
to to by March she was at fifteen thousand dollars a month and re like fifteen thousand dollars a month with people paying her for her services and she was just like you changed my life forever and so some of y'all in here are going to be a part of that you changed my life forever type of conversation and I'm gonna, and I love that for you but I just want y'all to just do it the right way all right yes sir um one last question yep. When you went to the, um, when you generated the letters and you said you recommended, I think it was a Brent Bradford and Batty, B-A-D-I, yep. to mail the letters for us. So yep. are these business entities or like people who are contracted by yep. Metro 2 Compliance to do yep. that so, for us? Yeah, so they, they're third-party vetted um, services. They have their own mailing services. And so we vetted them and we hired them as third party vendors. So they don't, they're not in business with us, but then they have their own company where they, that's, they run a, a whole mailing service company. That's what they do. I see. Yep. Yep. So you okay. can, you can trust them with your information and all that. They're going to take care of it because they, if, and, and if anything, if they do something wrong, you'll be able to, you're going to get a, like when you get an invoice, you'll be able to see their information. It's all public record. And if you have any issues with them, then. Um, you got my permission to beat him up and let me know. And I, and let, and let me know. <laughs> All right. Okay. And, and for this business, um, I know absolutely nothing outside of my own personal situation. Um, mm -hmm. what percentage of new clients do you get, um, that are doing this business? Like, is this easy to learn? What what I saw looks too good to be true. What and I, I know it's too good to be true, but it's true. I, I'm sorry. I can't I can't take it back. I showed you now. My I showed my hand. I can't. Like as crazy as it sounds, it's what you saw. It it, it that's it works. That's it ain't ain't nothing. I ain't got nothing extra. I ain't got it ain't like you finna get off here and say, dang, Dion didn't tell me about that part. He ain't cover that part. You I gave you everything. Wow. I get, I get, I get, I know, I know. Listen, listen, look, I was put on this earth to, I, look, I wasn't here, I ain't, I ain't here to just be born and just die. You hear me? I'm, I'm here to impact the people. So, and, and let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, and I don't, and I don't really be doing this. JD, no, I'm, I'm a super humble person. The software that y'all saw, like, that's a replica of my software, which is the original Metro 2 compliant software that I created. This black man, from the south side of Chicago, who was raised in the projects, who saw drugs get dealt, guns get shot, and my, some of my friends who ain't here today, and I didn't know if I was gonna make it out or not, I have a way, didn't have a relationship with my biological father. Like, yeah, me, oldest of four. My mama was working two jobs where I had to take care of my siblings, where I had to feed them cereal, pork and beans, and hot dogs, and cheese sandwiches until mama came home. Yeah, that's me, I did that. So I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't hit a lot of you. I ain't got nothing to hide. I ain't, it ain't going to help me. It ain't, it's not going to help me. God told me to be fruitful and multiply. So I'm just doing that. <laughs> so you, what you see is what you get. It's too good to be true, but it's true. So I'm just here to be a blessing. Thank you. No, oh, you're welcome. Um, let me see. Um, we got, I think this is Devon Dotson. Talk to me. Hopefully I said that right too. I think I said that right. Okay, yes. Well, I had, well, thank you for the information. No That's problem. number one. And I was looking for the link again because I went in and I registered, but I went out because I'm on the computer. Okay. Now, when I go, I, I put my email. When I go, how do I go back to that, to that page we already registered at? So somebody do me a favor and drop that page again. So this young lady. So if you are, did you already register or you still need to register? No, I registered already, but I wanted to go in and um, sign up for one of the plans, but I came out of it okay. and I didn't register because I was waiting to hear whatever else she was going to say before okay. I did it. So I could understand a little more about the software. Got you. Yeah. And you can... gave two names. You wait a minute. You gave two names, Batty, and you gave and, another one. And Brent Bradford. Oh, Brent. Bradford, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got the most experience. So I would I would just use either one of those individuals. Bradford. Okay. Yeah. So I just go back on the link and just go start over, or is my stuff if, is in there? 
if you already created an account, then all you got to do is just go to the sign in page. So you, all you got to do is go to m2exitplan.com and then you can just sign in with that with that email that you use and that password that you created. If y'all ever get locked out at the bottom of the actual website, it's a, it's a button that says get support. Y'all can submit a support ticket and somebody will help you reset your account if you ever need help with that. Okay, so, so you said m2exitplan.com, right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, all right, thank you. No problem, no problem. Thank you very much. You're welcome, you're welcome. All right, uh, Tanisha Miller, talk to me. Okay, uh, you mentioned earlier about um, making sure your ID card and the address and everything matches. Yep. Okay, so if the debt is associated with one address, would it be smart to use a different address so that they can't verify it, or does it matter? Um, yeah, you talk, you're talking a little spicy, but yes, 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 ma'am. <laughs> it does matter or it doesn't matter? It 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 doesn't. And it, and like you said, it's it'll be to your advantage if the account that you are referencing to has your old address and now all of your identification has new addresses, that's going to work to your advantage. Okay, got it. Yep. She said, Dion, I owe them people, but I moved and and I don't live there no more. <laughs> so 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 is it gonna help me? Yes, it's gonna help you. It's it's going to be better that way. Cause now the addresses and stuff don't match. So yeah, we got you. Um, let me see here. Uh let's see, let's see, let's see. We got Latoya. Talk to me, Latoya. What's up? Hello, how are you? I'm all good. Let me say something real quick before you ask your question, Toy. Let me let me say something for everybody in the room. Let me first of all, let me say it's still 78 of y'all in the room. I want to tell y'all I appreciate y'all for being here because here's the truth. If y'all ever, if y'all ever been around any millionaires, y'all know that they're gonna rush y'all on their time. They ain't gonna sit here and talk to y'all. And and, they, and hell, because I'll be look, we've been on here, we've been kicking it. Ain't we been kicking it? We've been kicking. I ain't rush y'all off of here. I ain't rush y'all off here. So, hey, I'm I'm here for y'all as much as I can be. Okay, so talk to me, Toya, what you need? Thank you. I really appreciate all your time and the information. It's definitely good information. I just wanted to know as far as the software, would, would we be able to cater to not only consumer clients, but also business clients that are wanting to restore their business credit? Uh, individual consumers only, no business credit. Okay, thank you. I promise, I promise when I come up with something that's going to help with business credit, I'll let y'all know. Yep, I promise. LaShante Williams, what's up? <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got Maya Perkins Williamson. Wilson, talk to me. Hey, um, so I had a question. Mm -hmm. If some of our debt is in our maiden name and like some of it is in our married name, what type of like identification would we use to for them to be able to identify us? Don't make it hard on yourself. Make it hard on them. Whatever identification you got right now, whatever information your your ID say, whatever documents that you can put together, send that. Don't worry. Don't you you don't worry about that. Let them worry about that. Yeah. Don't make it hard on yourself. Make it hard on them. Tanisha, back with another question. Talk to me. So. Um, if I have a company that's working with my credit right now, and I just want them to go ahead and kick rocks, do and they've already sent out one round. Do I go ahead and let them stop, wait a month, and then start this system? All right, I ain't trying to put your information out there. How much did you pay them? Uh, one fifty, and then it's one fifty a month for like a year or year and a half, I think. One fifty a month for a year. Kick rocks. Thank you. Won't holler at you. Okay. Why you? Why would I pay you one fifty when I could do it myself for one fifty? Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, matter of fact, that in the comments they said kick big rocks. So, but do I wait? <laughs> <laughs> so look, whoever you, whoever the person is, send them a nice little message. Uh, respectfully, I'm going to resign. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna get a bottle there. <laughs> well, it's not going to affect the the letters they've already sent. To so, so again, you can ask them, you can ask them when did they send out your letters? Because mm -hmm. here, here's, this is why you guys got to be consistent. When I mean consistent, I mean, like I said, between 30 and 35 days. If you send a letter before that time frame, or if you send a letter after 45 days, normally what you do is you, 
you can re reset the investigation period. So if you send a letter before your next round is supposed to be sent and you don't get a credit bill 30 days, let's say you send off your letters and you send them off on, let's just say day, day 20 or 25 and you're trying to rush the process. You didn't rush the process. You just reset the first round. You just reset the process. And then if you wait too long to send off your next round of letters, you didn't, you didn't just try to, you didn't stall out the process. You just reset the process again because they're going to tell you we got 30 days to for our investigation period. So that means you got to get them 30 days. So if you send out a letter on the first in 30 days is, let's just say, uh, let's say January 1st, you send out your letters. 30 days is, is January 31st. That means that between January 31st and February the 4th or 5th, whatever that fifth day is, you need to be sending out your next round of letters. If you wait like 45 days in between the first letter that you sent and 45 days outside of that, then now you have restarted what's called the investigation. You got to stay on their necks. You got to keep sending your letters every 30 to 40, 35 days. Keep sending, keep sending. Because they're going to get tired of fighting. They're going to just give up. Okay. Thank yep. you. No problem. No problem. Uh, let's see here. All right. So we are all out. JD, I'm going to give you back. Raise your hand, JD, so I can give you back. Um, So I can give you back host, bro. And uh, then I'm going to check up out of here. I'm a, I am going to go through here and I'm going to see who. I'm a, look, I'm going to give everybody in here one last chance before I go through the people who actually um, registered and created an account. And do me a favor. If you if you got your account, then uh, put got it in the chat. If you registered and you paid, put got it in the chat. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick somebody. I'm going to pick y'all, pick the five people who uh, are who, who going to win this money today. And then I'm going to let JD um, send y'all the email address that y'all need to send to so I can send y'all this hot and spicy 150, man. Jessica said, I got it a month ago. Go crazy then. All right, so let me go into this software real quick. Uh, let's see. Um, payment history. All righty. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, all right, so let me see. Let me look at this chat. Let me see how many people saying got it because I can see who all got it. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let me see if it's eleven people in here from today. Let me see if y'all being honest with me. JD, I think they being honest. JD, okay, we got um, uh, okay then. Well, hold on now. It's it's a it's eleven. Hold on, twelve. It's twelve people that saying that they got it. But I just looked and it's only 10 people that registered. What's up? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Why y'all playing with me? Why y'all playing? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Can I get to the 15? What y'all doing? What we doing now? What we doing now? No, this is, this is, this is, I'm, I am taking care of the people who act fast. This is, I'm blessing the people who, who, who saying I'm going to pour into myself today. Yeah, you got a 50% chance of winning. See? Now, I mean, I don't know if JD wanna if he wanna dig in his pockets and get y'all into the 15th. I don't know. No, y'all gotta talk to him. I don't I don't got nothing to do with that. I don't got nothing. All right, let, let's do this. Watch this. Let, let me do this. Watch this, JD. Let's do this. Let's do this. If for some odd reason, um, and this is gonna be outside of the people that get picked today. So if you if you win today, you can't you can't win this the second part that I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. Um today is the 11th. It's 10 o'clock on the 11th. If you didn't register today because maybe funds is short, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to gift you 150, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to gift you an equivalence of 150. And what I'll do is anybody that, as a matter of fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this to the people. I'm going to get this to everybody that registered today too. This is what I'm going to do. This is, I'm, I'm going to hook y'all up. So not only am I going to pick five people that's going to win 150 today, Everybody who registers today and you register by tomorrow at 10 p.m., I'm going to gift you four additional GAs. So everybody that got their software today, I'm picking five people to win 150, but everybody that got it today, you're going to get an additional four GAs. I don't care which plan you got. I'm going to give you four additional GAs. So that way, if you was going to start your business, you was going to get going and do whatever you're going to do. Now, instead of you only being able to help four people this month, you can help eight. But now remember, next month, when your plan renews, it's only going to give you an additional four more. And then the good part is that they do roll over. I know somebody probably had that question. So they do roll over. So you will have the ability to, um, to any unused GAs that you didn't use, any unused rounds, you'll be able to send those out as well, okay? 
So everybody that signed up today, y'all gonna get y'all gonna see y'all account more than likely before midnight. Y'all gonna see that say um it's gonna go from four to eight or how many, whatever you got. Um, whatever, whatever plan you pick, we're just gonna double the, we're gonna double. I got y'all. All right. So the five people that we're gonna have as winners today um is we're gonna have, and these are just I'm just random. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know nobody in here to, to pick the right or wrong person. I don't even know. I'm just going to um, let's pick um, let's go. So as I pick the people, I'm a, I'm gonna text them to you, uh, JD. Uh, uh, direct, Dorissa. Dot realtor at gmail.com. So Miss Dorissa, she won. All right. Dorissa, if you here, you better come on. You better, you better talk to us in the car, Miss. Nah. <laughs> so that's Dorissa. I think Dorissa is her full name. Dorissa Allison is, if you here, you won. If not, if you ain't here, you just, you just, you, if you left early, oh well. Um, do we got, oh, let me see, we got it here. Let me see. Uh, we got, um, I'm trying to look. I see you in here too, JD, but you can't win, bro. So you, you don't count. Sorry, bro. You don't, you don't count. I'm going to refresh you just in case if anybody, all right, we got some, we got a couple new people that, that didn't just pay too. So we got Darissa. She's one. Um, let me, let me hit this so I can know to send it to you. Um, we got, uh, 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 let's see. Y'all know, y'all know I'm messing with y'all, right? Um, y'all use these, these names in here. I just want to make sure I don't say nobody wrong name. Uh, do we have a, uh, Mich Michelle, Michelle, Michelle two B N R N. Is she here? Let me see what Michelle at. Is Michelle here? B two R N. So JD, you gotta just look, cause look, if you go inside of the software, JD, and you go into the back office where it says payment history, you'll be able to see the people that I'm uh that I'm picking that I'm sending to you. And you can just basically you can either try to find them on this call. You may not be able to find them on the call, um, but you can uh, maybe you can send them an email or something. But if you find them on the call, then just send it to them. Um. Let's see who else we got. I'm I'm trying to track this. I'm trying to. Hey Dion, real quick, what do you want them to do with the email? I'm gonna send it to them. I'm yeah, gonna I'm gonna send it to them. Yeah, just just if y'all get an email from JD, just tell them um that you know they, he gonna tell you that y'all want a 150. Just send it to me um if you want to how you want your 150 cash app or Zelle and we gonna get it to you. Yep. Uh, we got uh let's see let's see let's see. Um, let's see. I'm going to go to, this was the very first person that uh, actually signed up. I don't know. Uh, maybe you can let me know in the comments. It's uh, N-Y-J-A-C-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Where you at? Ray, Ray, raise your hand. If I call, if I call your, your email, raise your hand so that way we can know who you are. And JD can send you this uh send you this email. All right, so there we go. So there that's one person, JD. All right, so it looked like Niger Canada. And then I call, I call Darissa Allison. We need you to raise your hand. Um, I call on a Michelle. Michelle, the email is Michelle, the number two B N R N at gmail.com. I call her if you raise your hand. All right, cool. Um, so we got we got three people so far. We got one, two, yeah, we got three people. All right. Uh, and then Shalon, I'll ask you a question before I get out of here. So we got uh, all right, cool. We got three, and I got two more I need to pick. So then let's go with uh um passion property, like passion property mortgage. Raise your hand. Who is that? Sonia. Sonia, talk to me. Come on, raise your hand so we can get you this bread. Come on, family. Look at your husband in the back. So supportive. <laughs> he like, look, hey, that 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 yeah, that 150 now. We're gonna go eat. That's my 52. We're gonna split that. It's a split. 75, 75. We married. <laughs> I give you my money. <laughs> oh, shoot. I love it. I love it. I love it here. All right, Devon, I get to your question too. Uh, I see you raise your hand, Devon. I get to your question too once we're done. I got one more person to pick. Um, let me see here. Let's pick um. 
Um uh uh Renee. Renee is R-E-N-E-E-C-T-I-L-L-I-E at gmail.com. Raise your hand for me. Man, that's my five right there. That's my five. That is my five. So Shalon, uh, JD, give Shalon the ability to unmute so I can answer that person's question. Um, because I see they got a question. And then um, congrats to everybody. And then Divine Dots. And then we're going to, I'm going to get up out of here, brother. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm good. How about you? I'm good. So I have two questions. Mm -hmm. One question is in regards to um, like earlier last year, I was working on my credit and I had this charge off on my report that um, I had, I, it was on all three bureaus. I got it off of two of the bureaus, which is Equifax and Experience. Mm -hmm. It was still on TransUnion, but by me trying to fight it, they ended up taking me to court and I didn't even know I was supposed to be in court. So I never even made it to court. But when I realized it, because I looked at my report, when I realized um, that I was supposed to uh, go to court or something, mm -hmm. I had went down there to go find out what was going on. And they told me it was too late to fight it. So is there any way I could get this off of my transunion at this point or am I kind of stuck with it there? No, nope. you, you go use that software and get it off. Okay, so it will get it off. Even though it's going to court and the court system found me, I guess, guilty or because I didn't show up. Let me let me let me explain something to y'all. And this is gonna be good for y'all to just have knowledge to know that also if anybody that's running a credit repair company or that's about to start one. Just because items get deleted off your credit profile, that don't mean that you still you still not obligated to pay your debt. What you owe is what you owe. So mm -hmm. you go to court, any litigation, you go into court, any monies that you owe, that don't mean that you don't still owe the balance. Just because student loans get removed, that don't mean that you still don't owe Sally Mae and she don't want her money. Like just oh, because you, you know, just because you <laughs> got a just because you got a repossession removed. That don't mean that you don't that that Ford don't still want their money for that car that you finance with them. Like that, what what credit repair does is it just gives you a fresh start on your credit. So now nobody knows about the bad relationships or the or the mistakes or the financial uh, discrepancies that have taken place in the past. You just look like somebody that's trustworthy to do business with on a going forward basis. So it just gives you a fresh new start. That doesn't mean that financially you're not still obligated. So, yeah, I know that part, but that I said it wrong. I worded that wrong. So basically what I'm trying to say is it will remove it off of the report, even though it went through the court systems and all of that is what I was trying to figure out. Yep, your court system and all the litigation has nothing to do with what's being reported. Reportability ain't got nothing to do with the court. Is it? Oh, OK. So See, because, now because okay. when you use Metro 2 compliance, Metro 2 compliance states that if an account is being reported and it don't meet the five points of compliance, it can't be reported. It doesn't matter the account type of who it is and what you owe. It doesn't matter. That's not, that's, it's null and void. It's about, it's all about what is the standard? Are you, are you operating within the standard? If not, you jeopardize the integrity of the information that's being reported. So therefore it can't report. Okay. All yeah. right. Thank you for that one. Now, the second one is I just recently had a medical bill that just came up on my report. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was wondering, it's like it's like for nine hundred and ninety five dollars. Mm -hmm. So I would be able to remove that off of the report also. There's nothing that you or anybody else on this call that's going to say, "Can I remove it?" I'm not going to tell you yes. Okay, I don't. Right. Even, it don't. It's, it's, it's not a matter of can can I get it removed, it's just a matter of when is it going to get removed. Is it round one? Is it round two? Is it round three? Is it round four? And do you have the patience and the sustainability to go as many rounds as you need until you get your desired results? Because Metro 2 works. But the only thing that I do know that work is work. So if you don't put in the work and you're not consistent, then it's not going to work. But it works. Yeah, because it took almost, I, had, I have patience. It took Equifax a year to remove that charge off off for my account. Yep. So I know it takes patience. I, I've, I've been doing it, but I've been doing it manually. 
Yeah, so. but here, and here's the beautiful part. Yeah, you got to have patience. And I said it just to set the proper expectation. But what y'all going to see when you get in that Facebook group and what you're going to realize is that Metro 2 has made people very impatient. It, it, because <laughs> because you'll get in there and you'll see somebody get a bankruptcy deleted in 30 days and then what end up happening is you expect for it to happen for you like that too. And not all credit profiles are created equally. Like it's kind of like your credit is kind of like your DNA. Like every every credit mm -hmm. profile is not the same just because you got a bankruptcy and I got a bankruptcy. That don't mean that, 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 that that's not what that means. That don't mean that. Right. So you just got to kind of wait your time if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Well, you've answered all my questions. Thank you for your help. No, nah, no problem, no problem. Um, JD, man, um, it has been more than an honor and a pleasure, bro, to spend the time with um, you and your community today. So hopefully everybody um, is going to invest in yourself. Again, like I said, for those who between now and uh, between now and tomorrow at 10 p.m., if you go ahead and get your account created, we will double up your GAs for all people who actually go ahead and get a subscription. So hopefully you guys uh, take the opportunity to invest in yourself and um, just you know, keep your eye on the prize and have a better financial future. With that being said, man, I appreciate y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoyed my time today. Um, Man, I appreciate y'all for just being here and staying tuned, all 70 of y'all, because clearly 30 people didn't like money. <laughs> um, I love credit, man, and that's my time. JD, Um, I'll be in touch uh, with you later this evening, but I'm about to go live on Instagram. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll see you on Instagram in a few minutes. Uh, for the rest of y'all, y'all stay on y'all. Just, just do me a favor, man. Y'all, y'all do me a few favors. Number one, drop some emojis in the chat for Dion real quick. Drop some emojis in the chat for Dion. And when you guys get a chat, get a chance, man, just go to his Instagram and show him some love on his page, y'all. Let him know if you guys received any value from that. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure I'm in the uh, in the front. Hold on, let me pin myself. Um, also, let me let me do this real quick before we get off. How many of you um, drop a one in the chat? If you are if you are not a part of the mentorship program already, like if you if you're not a part of the mentorship, just drop a one in the chat. If you are not like you are not a part of um, any the insiders club or the mastermind, if you're not, just put a one in the chat real quick. All right, drop a one in the chat. Okay, cool. So for for the most part, every other person is already a part of the mentorship. All right, that's that's cool. So let me do this. Um, I'm going to stop this recording first.